Welcome back everybody. It's Rosemary Klein and Chef CT of Ascenza de Gusto. Today we're doing a holiday special and Chef is going to show us how to make a holiday roast. So how do we start, sir? Well, let's get into it right away. We have a beautiful piece of Angus sirloin uh, roast here. We have all our ingredients, uh, you know, the thyme, the rosemary, thick salt and roast uh, and pepper. And so we are going to season lightly the entire piece of meat, mm -hmm. okay? I'm gonna turn it around, season it a little bit. Same thing with the sprinkles of the black pepper, okay? Once we do this, we are ready to wrap it around. Wrap it. This, this is a part you like, right? Can, yes, can I Will cut you believe it? this? Yeah, I like a seam. Oh, I know what I did. This. Yeah, don't okay. worry, please. Love this it. has to be as tight as possible. Okay, do I cut this? Beautiful knot. Yeah, you cut this, okay. Close it. Even the herbs just smell so good. And then you put pieces of rosemary inside. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, we put this one here, turn it around, and you put this other one here. Mm-hmm. Again, now the time. The time after the rosemary, yes. Put it on the other side, next to the rosemary. Beautiful. Nice, beautifully and deliciously seasoned. Yep. Simple, very simple. Simple, yes. To get a gorgeous yeah. roast. Well, the gorgeous roast is defined by the quality of the meat mm -hmm. and how you treat it, okay? Then we are going to pour. In our pot, this deeper pot here, you know, quarter cup of our olive oil. Yes, okay. Some more salt. Some pepper. I like to have it all together here. Yep. Very homey style. And some rosemary. extra rosemary. Nice, you can't get enough of that. And thyme. Thyme. Voila. At this point, you put it on the burner. With, with the meat. The meat. <laughs> Here we go. So the next step, Chef, is the boost. Yes, the boost. A little bit of uh, red wine, in this case, uh, the Barolo. And we are going to dip it a little bit on top of it, too. Top of the, uh, of the piece mm -hmm. of meat. And we're going to let it sit in a lower flame. So this is also a process where the actual broth and and all the you know the juices, juices from inside the meat is gonna come out and create the gravy essentially, you know. The delicious gravy. Yes. Ooh. And also start the cooking around it. It's very important in this phase, no poking of the meat. No, no meat poking. No, because otherwise it gets hard. Oh. It doesn't stay soft and the juices don't stay inside. Ah. Yes. So what are you doing now, Chef? Well, a nice roast also has a nice thin crust around it. And um, in order to get the first taste of all the seasonings, the red wine, and before going into the oven, we make sure that every side of the meat is actually turned so it's a little roasted and crispy on the edges all over the crust, okay? And this is you do it in the pot before going into the oven. I've never done a roast like this in my life. It, it smells already so good. Now to taste. Yeah, I can't wait. <gasps> and what a better combination than a barolo mm. with roast. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh. Everybody, join us next time to see how he made this delicious gravy. Ah, oh, Chef CT to you. And to you guys. Buon appetito. Mm. Ciao. Ciao.